we've got a bit of a standoff situation here. He's just he was moving around slowly, then he's just come to a sudden stop. I reckon he's seen me. How cool is that? I'll just zoom out a little bit. That is a ripper. A bit underweight though. Not the healthiest looking snake I've seen. I suspect. There he goes. I suspect being that it's been such a dry year that it's uh there he goes. Being that it's been such a dry year, there probably hasn't been as many frogs as what there normally would be. And he's just been struggling to find a feed. That would be my guess. Right. Hopefully we get some rain. We can feed up a little bit. I won't get any closer. He's got a bit of a twist in his neck there, which is normally a bit of a warning sign. If you see a black snake doing that with its neck, that means don't get any closer. If anything, maybe even step back a bit. Look at that. I'll step back. And he'll just wait for me to leave, and then he'll go and hide. Probably in that hollow log there, I reckon. See you later, mate. Off you go. You're nearly, you're nearly safe. I can see a snake over here, but I'm not sure what it's doing. It's moving around a bit. I don't know whether it just come up from underground or... Oh, there's two there. That's what's going on. Oh, there's three. And one over there as well. Got the day oh, look at that little one. The little one's got vibrant colours. There goes the first one. There goes the second one. And the third one's already gone. <laughs> I've got the black snake trifecta. Three in one spot. There was two went down that same spot then and one of them had really vibrant colours. But check this out. Barty grub shells. That rain last week must have triggered the uh, must have triggered the barty grubs to or the, the barty grubs to come up and grow wings and fly away. The first rain in the autumn usually does it, but being that it's been such a uh, dry autumn, it just sort of hatched now, I reckon. Nice day to be sitting in the sun, mate. Straight down the hole. He was just sitting there, and as soon as he noticed that I was in the area, straight down the hole. He'll come back out later on when I'm gone. This one's just sitting on the top of the hole, so he could disappear pretty quick, I reckon. The moment he realises I'm here. What a beauty. Oh, there he goes, look. He'd be spending the entire winter down there in that hole. He'll probably come up and just lay around here wherever this. Yeah, I'll just zoom out a bit. He'll probably just come up and lay around here wherever the sun is. Then when the sun goes behind a cloud or a guy walks past like me, he goes back down into the hole where it's safe. Then he'll come back out when yeah uh, when he feels safe. Check this out. There's a snake, but it's dead. You see that? But the fascinating part is that there is a live one down there. You can see the live one moving. See its tail moving around there? He's trying to get into the hole there, but it's... Uh... Oops. You can see the live one moving there. So there's a live one and a dead one in the same hole. That's a bit creepy, a bit morbid. The animal kingdom's a pretty harsh place, I reckon.